I know it looks ugly, but it'll still play. It'll play better than it fucking would. <clears throat> I need heals. What's five? Here he is. That's what I want to know. Now, rogues are usually easy to beat. Um, there you go. There's a nice, perfect swing off of him. Usually, when a monster charges, like a behemoth, whenever a behemoth charges like that, you can, you're able to trample them. Should I say trip? Uh, so you can get in a few more swings and powerful attacks as well. Uh, I noticed that first in the close beta with um, I forgot which one. It was uh, I don't know, but it was one of the the earlier behemoths you fight, the second one you fight, and he would always fly to me and um do one of these, and then, you know, oh, that's a new effect. I haven't played in a while, so, uh, now they say the monster's slain, because in the older beta, closed beta version, oh, they made him, well, in the old beta version, like, all this is new to me, uh, once you kill it, the items would pop up. It wouldn't say it's slain, it just die right there, and the items would pop up. Obviously, credit to this guy for staying alive, you know. <laughs> After I was screwing with my um, settings and stuff, you know how that went. But I got an S ring, so that's good. But it wasn't too, too bad. I mean, quality doesn't look too bad on 1280 by 720, whatever it is. But, you know. Look at this guy. Yeah, they changed everything in this. That's really good. I give it a four. Um, and I also, uh, I told them, like, oh, you guys should, uh, you know, I gave them innovative hints and stuff, and I told them if you, you know, if you want to be original, well, not original, I mean, if you want to put more, uh, variations in the game of weapons, because originally, in the beta, they had four, uh, I haven't played in a while, so I'm sorry if I don't remember the names. I'd have to go to th the smith and check out the name of the, well, these weapons I have on right now, the weapon I have on right now, oh, is it chain, chain blades? Oh, <coughs> well, sorry about that, but the enemy I was fighting that I learned that you can trip him while he charges at you was the shrike. That's the, the behemoth I was talking about. But, um, the, they had, uh, weapons in these games for chain blades. Uh, oh yeah, and they improved the shit out of Ramsgate. Like, I'm, I used to get, like, 12 frames per second, even on the low settings over here. But now I'm getting, like, 28. Doesn't look like 28, it's just, right now, it's just, it lags. Ramsgate itself just lags a little bit, but, you know. There's only so much they can do. But, uh, originally, I'll show you. I don't, I think I, no, I don't think I took pictures. You bring the materials, I forge the weapons. Yeah, chain blades. Like, the Shrike blades? Yeah, they changed it. I told them, 
like, uh, I specifically told them, like, like, these are alright. These aren't too bad. But originally, um, I think these are new. These were, these two right here, because they used to be just different colors. They used to be, one was just this regular color, and then it was just repaints, and I was like, hmm, maybe they can improve that. And I, and I you know, I reported in some help, because I wanted to help them out with the game, and I told them uh, that you guys should, you know, pair the weapons to to the monsters look basically like this. It looks like, you know, it's got the Shrike feathers over here and stuff. And then it's, you know, it resembles a Shrike. It's got that Shrike feel to it. Same thing with this one, but it's a Scrave. So, if that's how you say it. And, you know, I was pretty happy by them that they actually, you know, they took into consideration of such things. <clears throat> like, I believe these blades before... I think these are new too. I'm not totally sure. But yeah. Yeah, good on them for, you know, finally changing up that stuff. And I feel like there more updates will come and they'll fix this as well. But for the most part, they're doing a really good job. No um, Except other weapons I have made. Before. One request I wanted them to do was to take out some of the trees in the game, like in the maps you fight in, because there is a lot of trees in this game, like unnecessary amount of trees. Like there should be trees that you could, you know, easily sneak between. So in this game, it's. Like, there's some trees that are just clumped up unnecessarily, and so I asked them as well if they could fix that as well, and I think they did. They also patched the, you know, the actual terrain as well, made it less, you know, clunky and quality heavy and shit. So that's a good thing. So anyways, thank you guys for watching oh and another thing too is uh the reason why i didn't do fallout new vegas no bad reason i just like uh, you know i haven't played uh i haven't been playing um dauntless in a while so i was like you know what i'll give it i'll give it a go and it's not like i don't like this game i really do it's just i don't know i just because i have monster hunter stories right now and i've been playing the shit out of that and neverwinter as well so I've been kind of on and off, as you can see, on the YouTube. Like, I haven't paid, I haven't posted a video in, like, five days. And so I wanted to, you know, go back to it and uh, make a video of uh, Dauntless. An enemy I already fought, but, um, you know. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of me facing up against a rogue Embermane. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.